Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what you can do with what we call mixology, basically mixing and matching these different actions from different sets to come up with really cool effects. So we're going to take our basic color corrected uh, raw, and we're going to open it up in Photoshop by hitting Control E from Lightroom. If you guys are using ACR or whatever, that's fine. Just open it up. I'm going to close down my previous working file, so we just have this one open. Now what I'm going to do is just start with an action to get us going. So let's go to the antique vintage pack and uh, maybe what I want to do is create kind of a punchy look to it maybe with some blues, uh, so an azure black and white which is basically going to black and white and then uh, kind of create blue tones over the image and it's going to punch it up so it'll be very contrasty. Let's apply that and then I'm going to tone this effect down. So I still want to see um, quite a bit of the color. I'm going to tone it down to 50% so we can kind of see that underlying color. Next, let's try going up to the cool pack and let's do like a maybe like a kind of a cool cross process look. Or maybe you know what even be better is doing a blue punchy look on top of that. So just kind of enhance the sky a little bit more. So I'm going to use blue neutral punch. We're going to put this effect on top because I want the blue to be more dominant. I really want it to pull out the sky. And then uh, I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. And that's great right there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the base pack and we're going to do a few tweaks. I'm going to brighten and then maybe uh, fade the image just a little bit. And then I might do a little bit of additional saturation. So I'm just selecting all three of these tweaks. I'm going to apply all of them and then I'll make adjustments. So I like the fade. I think it's a little bit strong. So I'm going to reduce the fade a little bit. Um, the brighten is great, but I think it could be a little stronger. So let's take it up just a tiny bit. And with saturation, I'm going to take that up a little bit too. And there we go. We've created a nice little mixology recipe. Um, I'm going to take that. We're going to delete it. And I'm going to show you guys one more. So let's do another one. All right, so this time maybe let's try out a violet neutral punch. So it's going to add violet, violet color tones. Um, brightness will be neutral, so it'll be standard brightness. And it's going to punch up the contrast a little bit. I think it'll be really cool over that sky. Yeah, it looks awesome. Uh, I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. And then uh, let's also do a, let's go to the warm pack. And let's add in like maybe a crimson wash to it. Might be cool to actually do a dark wash. Let's try a dark wash. Ooh, I like that. I'm just going to tone it down though. That's great. And I'm going to put the dark wash on top so it kind of applies over that, uh, that violet. So let's tone it down a bit, maybe to about 30%. And that's great. Now let's go to our base pack. I'm going to again brighten. Let's add a contrast boost this time. Um, and then let's do a additional simple cross on top of that. Let's apply those and see where we get to. Let's do a little more contrast. I'm going to do a little bit more brightening. And with the cross processing, I'm going to probably tone it down just a tiny bit. Let's see if it even, uh, see if I like that effect or not. I think that looks actually pretty cool, maybe like 20%. All right, guys, so there we have a completely different look. Again, we have done another mixology recipe uh, and really just flying by the seat of our pants. So it's really easy to create any kind of look you guys want. Just experiment. Try things out. Let's delete this. Let's do one other one. I want to do a little, uh, I think this would look really cool as an antique, just like a, maybe like a really punchy black and white. So let's do a black and white neutral punch. All right, that looks great. Now I just need to do a little tweak to it. So I'm going to brighten it. I think it'd be really cool to kind of apply cross-processing over the black and white. Not too much, just a little bit. And then let's also, uh, well, let's try those two first and let's see what we get. All right, I want to brighten a little bit more. And then with the cross-processing, I want to tone it down just a tiny bit. I just want a little bit of those color. Uh, you can kind of see those hues get mixed into the black and white. And it kind of creates this duo tone effect, which is really nice when it goes to print. Just like about right there, maybe 18%. That looks great. I'm going to brighten up a tiny bit more. And that's awesome. I love that look. If I wanted to, like, say, fade it, I can add a contrast fade on it. Uh, it'll fade it out. Uh, but I really like it kind of popping in how it is. Again, that's another entirely new look, just with a little bit of action mixology. So when you guys come up with these new mixology recipes on your own, be sure to share them on the community page so that we can all kind of be inspired by each other and uh, work together to create cooler images. We're also going to have prizes from time to time on kind of the coolest and newest mixology recipes. So be sure to check that out, guys, and hope you guys enjoy.